Hello everyone, this is Anton and in this video I want to show you a new feature that Help Debates just released that allows you to be able to add your calendar pages on the on the whiteboard here. So if you right click you have this calendar option it will bring out a, a calendar modal here where you can select a range for which you're gonna put on for what you're going to put on the actual board here what's nice is they do have some presets for you so if you just want to do this week this month the last seven days uh, last last week or last month or even the last three months these presets can help you out from having to kind of peck around in the calendar here and search around for the different dates that you want now if you come in here and let's say we choose say last month so we have enough stuff here you can also come down here and you can set up a grid and you can say this grid has X number of columns as well so where that will come into play you can look here and let's do this week you'll see that in the calendar layout let's take a look at how that shows and then we'll kind of switch it over and see what's the difference here and let's do confirm and you can see the, the way it laid it out here is that this particular calendar item is on uh, it's on a Monday so it's first in line but it's raised up because it's in a different month and then you have the other ones here for the rest of the week that are in a different row and therefore April instead of March so it just has more of that calendar feel to it and look so if we don't want this, let's go ahead and see what the other options are that we can pick. So if we right click, we'll do here, we'll still do this week, but let's go ahead and change this over to a grid. And let's go over here and let's choose the grid. And because the grid, we have seven days, let's do seven here. Seven columns are in this grid and we'll do confirm and we'll see that it lays it out all in one row when you do the grid option now if you wanted to have this set up where this one here is going horizontal let's go ahead and remove those click this again same this week we do one column we can see that everything now is in one row so depending on how you want this to look, you have some options in there on what you what you set it to. So this is pretty straightforward. It's also pretty flexible on how you lay your the, the journal pages on the actual uh, canvas here. So this is pretty well thought out and I think this is going to be useful for some people who wants to put their their actual journals on their whiteboard and also organize them in a particular way. Now just to take a look at some of the other options if I do last month so we have a whole month of view we'll keep the calendar option you can see what that looks like and all basically everything will look similar to what you're probably gonna you, you would expect if you use the calendar layout especially after seeing a couple of the ones that I've already done where you had a trailing journal from one month to another month you saw how that was laid out and now you can see how the full month is laid out it will basically organize it so it looks just like it would on a calendar now the other option here is that you can come in here and if you only want to put the journals that have content in it you can go ahead and do click this button here and then you will only get the ones with content in it so depending on what you want again this is pretty well thought out and pretty useful for organizing your journals on your whiteboard so yeah I would say try it out and see if this if you can make use of this and that's going to be it for this video if you like the content don't forget to like and subscribe and until the next time have a nice day